All right, I'm back taking another look at my new laptop. If you saw my unboxing video, you know that I recently purchased the Asus ROG Zephyrus G16 laptop. And I did an unboxing video and I kept pointing to the cool LED light. You guys probably aren't old enough to remember um, the kit car from Knight Rider, the show Knight Rider. Go ahead and Google that. This reminds me of the, of the kit car, so I'm super, pumped about this cool LED strip light here. So a little bit about the computer. It has an i9 processor. It has an awesome GPU, it's the 4070. The 4070 is what you need, architecture students, architects, recent grads. It has 16 gigabytes of RAM and one terabyte of storage. Let's check out the inside with the cool interior lighting. So I'm gonna open that up. See if you guys can get a get a good look at that changing color LED keyboard. Super super cool. And uh, let's uh, let's take a little closer look at the performance of this computer. There's the Republic of Gamers logo. I like when that when you first start up the computer and it makes a little sound. Republic of Gamers. I think that's so cool. All right, so let's take a closer look under the hood. So I do a lot of real-time rendering, and that's one of the reasons that I purchased this particular laptop because of the GPU, the 4070. And here I am in Lumion, and I'm gonna go to the benchmark and just take a look at what we have. So you see the GPU is well above recommended. The graphics memory uh, of eight gigabytes is in between. The CPU, the i9, that's also way above the recommended. And then the system memory. Yeah, 32 gigabytes uh, could have been a little better, but it's a lot more pricey, 32 gigabytes. So I kept it um, you know, under the $1,500 price point. So I have the 16 gigabyte memory. So let's take a look at some files. So I'm gonna load in one of the example files and, and see how this computer performs. So this is a pretty hefty file. You see it has a lot of landscape in it, all those trees, and this computer is having no problem with that, moving around with ease, panning back and forth, zooming in and out, orbiting. Let's take a look at some of the camera views that are set up with this. Let's go inside to a ray trace. So ray trace, you know, is much more, um, it requires a lot more power for ray tracing. And this GPU is having no problem with that. I'm gonna click on that to update and get it. So that's the ray trace update. So when I click on that, it's doing the ray tracing. So very impressed with the quality. Let's open another file, maybe one that's a, just a little bit more intense and see what happens. So this file is a little bit more intense because it has all the building geometry, the architectural building geometry. But let's go ahead and uh, and look at some of the photos, uh, cameras that are already set up. So ray tracing, ray tracing kind of went away because it was very intense, as I mentioned, on the computer. So a lot of real-time rendering engines don't have ray tracing, but now in Lumion, ray tracing is back because the GPUs can handle it now. Um, so we're seeing the, the rebirth of ray tracing, so to speak. Let's double click in this and take a look at that. Look at that, look at the lighting in there and the, the lighting quality looks really beautiful on this screen. Something else that I'm super impressed with that I didn't even think about is the sound. It has a really great sound. Let's listen to it. <laughs> Super happy with the sound on it. It sounds really good. Just another nice feature. All right, the last thing that I wanted to close with is, let's see if I can get this in the camera. I don't know if you can see that. There it is, the logo on the front. I love that. Republic of Gamers, ROG, and then the LED light. All right, leave me some comments below. Give me some feedback. 
Always remember, I'm here for you. If you need anything, reach out to me in the DMs. See you on the next one.